Good morning, Martians. Well, I was looking at the change log, and I wanted to real quickly um, test everything out. Um, let's see, what we added off last time where they added the new tools for the samples. We kind of looked at the laboratory equipment that we couldn't deploy at the time, and now you can. I did in that uh, in my shack over there. But I wanted to do some sample taking real quick and uh, see how it works out and see how the, you know, analyzing uh, the samples works. Oh, look, there's a nice little rock right there. Got my rock sampling tool. I'm going to carve my name right here. Nico. Okay, we got the rock sample. Take the atmospheric gas sampler. And I'm kind of doing them all in the, in the same area here. Oh, look, interrupted. Okay, so you can't really move. So let me move a little bit before I take the sample. Okay, that makes sense. You kind of sample in a certain area. And then we got the soil sampler tool. Let's go here and find li Oh, look, there's a nice light patches. Just didn't want to do them too close together. Eh, maybe right over here. That's a strange line right there. Just leaving little divots in the ground. I like it. I like it. All right. So now we got three samples, and I'm gonna run over to the shack around the location of uh, well, my last location of my let's play. Things broke, so I just figured I'd use it because I have a closed-in area here, and I did have the laboratory table set up. Hey, <laughs> Wilson. Nothing personal, dude. Aw, oh, eh, whatever. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna build another one of these slip and slides. Anywho, I'm gonna take my helmet off here and check it out. I guess I can take all my gear off. Yeah, so we got the lab table here. And if you get hit eye on it, so you can put the here, I'll just take this out. Can I carry it? Can I hold it? No. It says held. Let's see what happens. No. Is it once it's deployed, it's deployed? I don't know. Can I throw it on the ground? No. I guess I have to put it on my person, but I got too much crap here. Let me make sure I can st still pull that out. Let me, um. Throw those damn pills out of there. Let's see if I can actually pick this up again. What if I want to move it to another table? No, look, you can't, uh. Oh, wait, I got a sample in there. That would explain it. Let's drop this on the ground. That's an old one I was testing. And you can indeed undeploy it. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I could undeploy that damn thing. I'm going to put that back over here. And we'll get this bad sample out of here. Although it does have a marking on it right now. Let's put that over there. You over there. Okay. Look at that. It looks pretty damn cool, don't it? Everything you need to know about everything, right there. And a cup of Joe, right there. I like it. I like it. So, we're going to take our first sample. Right here, which is the drill. And we got a lot of storage here, I notice. Is this for um, older samples? I mean, I could just put samples down in there. That's pretty cool. Okay, we're going to hit Analyze. 
Success. Which means what? Oh, yeah, check it out. There it is. <laughs> Laying there. Okay, so now theoretically you hit the map. And, oops, move this over here so I can see what I'm doing. And then you hit your resources up here on the top right. And I reckon you got to go for these soil ones, not not the... So do I click? Wait a minute. Hmm. Is this supposed to... Oh, well, that one... I heard it shows red. I don't see it on the map, though. Potassium. And I'm clicking on the... That was a soil sample, so I'm trying to click on... Oh, wait. Yeah, see, this is the minor one. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. So these are showing up down. That looks like the drill. And its shovel looks like more like you would... I don't know. So it shows them high water, rock. And it's not showing these because I haven't done the sample yet. So let's get out of here. And test all the samples right off the bat, I reckon. I'll just put them all in there. Okay, this guy I can move down here. No, I can't. Oh, I can't. All right. And we grab the gas sampler and analyze it. Success, so I can move that down. And do the soil. Analyze it and bring it down. So now I should be able to. Anything change here? Oh, I didn't leave anything on the table. I probably should have left it on the table. Probably underneath there. Yeah, let me let me do that real quick. Or can I not do that? Okay, that went back over on that one area there. This one goes on that one area. Okay. So they all kind of go on that one little plate there. Look like something would go right there under the microscope. Okay, so now I hit the map again. And I right click to keep my character from moving around so I can get my arrow back. Zoom in a little bit. So now. So does this sh show I did sample here? You know what? I didn't look at the markings on the canister, but. I'm sure they correlate with that there. We got carbon, oxygen, silicon, iron. So it's just a pretty good area size that I just tested there. Aluminum. So I knew this was a good spot originally. So that's pretty cool. If I was to drive way off in the distance, you know, sector three, seven, four, five. Oh, that's pretty cool, and so when we drive out, and it'll give you a, now, I don't see a marker, except we'll have a color blotch, I guess, but I thought it would leave, like, a marker, like, right here, telling me, you know, where I sampled at, but that's pretty cool, I like it, that is pretty amazing, because they, uh, that was back on, uh, what, the 13th of January, added laboratory equipment case, used to analyze samples, must be deployed on a table first. It looks like on the 25th they uh, fixed the crash when an entity was deleted while having the map open. Um, and then implemented discovery resource calculations in an area using the sample tool and then analyzing the samples. Added resource sectors to the in-game map accessible via the button in the map. Okay, that's what we did right up over here, resources. And then uh, implemented analysis of samples via the lab table. Okay, it finally works. We just saw that. Added sector number display in the map based on the highlight. Right there. 
you can see that little number, which is written on the damn... Can't, let's get out of the map here real quick. Yeah, oops. Yeah, you can see the numbers are written right on these guys, so let's put this right in my hand. Oh, it was. Wait a minute, is it? I thought it was... Hey, wait a minute, this one ain't got no writing on it. What the hell just happened? I think... Well, this one had some writing on it, didn't it? Maybe not. Oh, no, maybe not. Okay. I thought they had a little, little sticker on it or something. Wait, see? Now I can see it. There it is. The hell? So, yeah, it tells you the location. Instead of a little piece of tape, it's actually printed right on there. At first, it was like a little piece of tape. So, we'll just keep this thing stored right in there. So, that's, that's kind of neat. I like it. That way, now, when I go out uh, prospecting... I can see what's going on. They added some other things on the 29th of January here. Implemented multiplayer synchronization of discovered sector resources. Implemented multiplayer synchronization of resources amounts per sector. Implemented save and load of discovered sector resources into a scenario and saves. Implemented line of sight calculations for characters and vehicles of other teams into the map. Yeah, I'm not really sure what that means. So let's jam my helmet back on, run outside real quick. I didn't really notice uh, any new HUD, but you never know. I, uh, we got that on the ground. We don't need any of this crap. Yeah. I don't see anything new on the HUD there, but let me go look at a vehicle or something. I just want to take a look at that lab equipment and show that it does work. From what I understand, there's some conflict with um, certain mods, but right now I don't have any mods loaded. So maybe there has to be other people on my map for that uh, line of sight thing. I mean, I'm looking at a car here. I thought maybe like a little HUD thing would pop up. Um, yeah, I don't know what that means exactly other teams into the map so I'm clicking on it seeing if it says anything about distance I don't see that anyway I'm not maybe I'm just not understanding that but that's all right I don't have other teams so nothing to really worry about So anyway, I just kind of wanted to look at the lab table, and in case you uh, hadn't seen it yet in action, there you go. Yeah, you guys have a good one. I'll catch you next time.